Come on, somebody lift your voice saying, I love you, Jesus. I, I love you, Jesus. And I love your name. I love your name. It's been a long time. I'm so glad. So let others go on. Let everybody go on. So let others let them go on. Doing what they want to do. They want to do. For it makes me happy. Here we are. It makes me happy. Oh, to sing. It makes me happy. For it makes me happy. For it makes me happy. For it makes me happy. To sing about you. Here we are in your presence. Here we are in your presence. Here we are. In your presence. Lift your hands to him. Lift in Come on, give God praise this morning. He's wonderful. He's great. Oh, here we are. Here we are. Oh, praise in Jesus. Praise in Jesus. For all the things, all the things. For all the things he brought us through. Here we are. This morning, worship the Lord. Worship him. Oh, here. In the land of the living, oh, praise in Jesus. Lift in the holy hand to you. Oh, here we are, Lord. So here we are oh, in your presence, in your presence Lord. Lift in holy hands to you. Oh God, here we are, Lord. For all the things Did it bring it to anything? Did it brought you to anything? For all the things Lift your hands and sing it For all the things Yes, 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 yes For all every, Oh Lord Every bad day All the things Every low day Every heartache Every pain for all the things you brought us through. Anybody been through? Anybody been through anything? Anybody been through anything for all the things? Oh, I want us to look at some, some that the Lord brought you through that you thought that you wasn't gonna make you through. As the praise team continues singing. For all the things I want to think about it. Come on, think about it. Think about it. For all the things you brought. For all the things. As I want to pray, Daniel 9, verse 3 to 9. All the things you brought us through. Somebody lift their hands. In the presence of the Lord, right where you are, worship Him. Hallelujah. Come on, let's magnify the Lord with me. As our team says, resilience, He is here. Resilience, He is here. Somebody want to shout that team after two, one, two. Resilience, He is here. 
here. Oh God, anybody glad that he's here? Anybody glad that he's here? Come on, we're going to be praying right now. Daniel chapter 9. Hallelujah. Verse 3. Hallelujah. Praise God to 9. Praise God. And verse 16 to 19. We're going to be doing that together. Praise God. Daniel chapter 9 verse 3 to 9. And it goes. And I set my face unto the Lord God to seek by prayer and supplications with fasting and sackcloth and ashes. And I prayed unto the Lord my God and made my confession and said, O Lord, the great and dreadful God, keeping the covenant and mercy to them that love him and to them that keep his commandments. We have sinned and have committed iniquity and have done wickedly and have rebelled even by departing from my precepts and from thy judgments. Neither have we hearkened unto thy servants, the prophets, which speak in thy name to our kings, our princes, our fathers, and to all the people of the Lord. O Lord, righteousness belongeth unto thee, but unto us confusion of faces, as at this day to the men of Judah, and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and to all Israel that are near, and that are far off, through all the countries whither thou hast driven them, because of their trespass, that they have trespassed against thee. O Lord, to us belongeth confusion of face, to our kings, to our princes, and to our fathers, because we have sinned against thee. To the Lord our God belongeth mercies and forgiveness, though we have rebelled against him. 16 to 19. O Lord, according to all thy righteousness, I beseech thee, let thine anger and thy fury be turned away from thy city, Jerusalem, thy holy mountain, because for our sins and for the iniquities of our fathers, Jerusalem and thy people are become a reproach to all that are about us. Now, therefore, O oh God, hear the prayer of thy servant and his supplications, and cause thy face to shine upon thy sanctuary that is desolate for the Lord's sake. O oh my God, incline thine ear, hear thy open thine eyes. O oh my God, incline thine ear. And hear, open thine eyes and behold our desolations and the city which is called by thy name. For we do not present our supplications before thee for our righteousnesses, but for the great mercies. O oh Lord, hear, O oh Lord, forgive, O oh Lord, hearken and do not, differ not. For thine own sake, O oh my God, for thy city and thy people are called by thy name. Somebody want to worship the Lord? Touching Jesus is all that really matters. Hallelujah. Jesus is all that really matters. Oh, and your life will never be the same. Oh, yeah, there is only one way to touch Jesus. Just believe. Just believe when you call, when you call on his name. Hallelujah. Let's 
sing it one more time. Touching Jesus. Touching Jesus is all that really matters. That really matters. Oh, yes. And your life will never be the same. Oh, there is only, only one way to touch Jesus. Oh, just believe when you call on. There is only one way. There is only one way. There is only, there is only one way to touch Jesus. Just believe. Just believe, just believe when you call on his name. There is only one way, there is only one way, there is only one way to touch Jesus. Just believe, just believe, just believe. When you call on, just believe it, just believe, 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 somebody just believe. Just believe one more time. Just believe. Just believe. Just believe. Just believe. Just believe. One more time. Somebody's believe in God. Somebody's believe in God. Somebody's believe in God. Speak to somebody right now. Speak to somebody right now. Oh God. Just believe, just believe when you call, when you call on, when you call on, when you call on, when you call on, when you call Jesus, 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 when you Just believe, just believe, just believe, just believe, just believe. Somebody need a breakthrough right now. Somebody need a deliverance right now. Somebody need a touch from God. Just believe, just believe when you call, when you call. Yes. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, glory, Praise glory. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. You're worthy, Lord. You are worthy, King Jesus. Hallelujah. Just believe this morning. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Just believe. We magnify you, Lord. Praise God. It is our Jesus joy. You may be seated. Praise God. To welcome you to worship with us today. You may be in cyberspace or you may be with us in the tabernacle. Thank you, Jesus. But wherever you are, God is and all is well because he is with you and me. Thank you, Jesus. The theme for this morning's service is Resilience, he is here, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. The possibilities are endless and wonderful. Let me say that again. The possibilities are endless and wonderful. Something good is about to happen. Something good is in store. So let us make him welcome this morning. Let's praise 
can worship him unfettered and without measure let us step aside glory as we allow him to do what he wants to do with us and for us welcome 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 hallelujah hallelujah come on worship the lord isn't it wonderful when you are comforted that Jesus is here? Anybody feel comforted to know that Jesus is here? He's here. Right where you are, right 
Lord, worship. Worship, worship, worship. I can touch him. He is there within my reach. Somebody worship. I can touch him. Oh, I can feel. I feel we should see it. Your flow and by faith has made me whole. It's Jesus. It's Jesus. It's Jesus. It's Jesus. Oh, it's Jesus. Oh, I can touch him. I can touch him. He's there within my reach. Come on, praise him. I can touch him. Oh, yes, yes, that's it. The virtue flow and by faith has made you It's Jesus. One more time. It's Jesus. It's Jesus. It's Jesus. It's Jesus. I can touch him. Jesus. Oh, how sweet the name. Come on, somebody worship him. Jesus, every day the same. Oh, Jesus. Come on, come on. Let all saints proclaim. He's worthy. He's worthy. Continue to worship the Lord while Brother Ramsey comes. Jesus, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Indeed, this morning we are having a wonderful time basking in his presence. And we'll be reading this morning from the book of Psalms 46. I invite you to stand with us, those who are in the auditorium with us, those that are in cyberspace. We begin at verse 1. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore will not we fear, though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried in the midst of the sea, though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof, there is a river, the streams whereof shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacles of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her. And that right early, the heathen raged. The kingdoms were moved. He uttered his voice. The earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Come, behold the works of the Lord. What desolations he hath made in the earth. He hath made wars to cease unto the end of the earth. He breaketh the bow and cutteth the spear in sunder. He burneth the chariot in the fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God Hallelujah. of Jacob is our refuge. Praise ah, the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. Come on, let's worship God for his word. Hallelujah. I just want to be where you are. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. I just want to be, be where you are. Oh, dwell in daily your presence. Oh, I don't want to worship from afar. Ah, draw me near. I 
want to be, I want to be where you are, dwelling in your presence, feasting at your table, surrounded by your glory, in your presence, that's where I always I just want to be, I just want to be with you, I just want to be, I just want to be where you are, oh, dwell in daily in your presence, oh, I don't want to worship from afar. Oh no, draw me near to where you are. I wanna be, I wanna be oh, where you are. dwelling in your presence. Is to knock your table. second scripture hallelujah praise God in your presence That's where hallelujah I oh God I just want to be I just want to with you with you want to be where you are. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us stand for the reading of the scripture. Praise God. We're reading from Isaiah 41 starting in verse 8. Praise God. But thou, Israel, art my servant, Jacob, whom I have chosen, the seed of Abraham, my friend. Praise God. 
Thou whom I have taken from the ends of the earth and call thee from the chief men thereof and said unto thee, Thou art my servant. I have chosen thee and not cast thee away. Praise God. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, I will God. read verse 10 again. Yes. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Praise God. Praise Come God. on, give God praise Hallelujah. for the word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We will sing together, leaning on the everlasting arms. Praise oh. God. Hallelujah. What a fellowship. What a joy divine. We're leaning on the everlasting arms. What a blessedness. What a peace is mine. Everlasting Oh yes I'm leaning Oh Jesus leaning Oh I'm safe and secure From all I love Oh leaning Oh Jesus leaning Oh I'm leaning On the everlasting arms Everlasting Oh, how bright the path goes from day to day. Leaning on the everlasting arms. Leaning on Jesus. Leaning on oh, I am safe and secure from all. Everlasting, oh, I'm 
Wonderful Sunday morning. Continue to lean on Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. We can bounce back. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. We can bounce back. We can face the storms of our lives and not be overcome. That's true, right? We can face the storms of life and not be overcome. We can be overcomers because he, our God, is with us. Hallelujah. Give him a hand clap of praise. He is with us. He is Jehovah Shammah. Hallelujah. The Lord is present. Glory to God. We are not alone. I'm so grateful this morning to say I am not alone. Praise God. Take your blessings right now. Praise God in the presence of Jehovah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Come on, let's worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, let's worship. The praise team will be singing. The presence of the Lord is here. Hallelujah. <laughs> Lord is here. The presence of the Lord is here. I feel it in the atmosphere. The presence of the Lord is here. The Spirit of the Lord is here. The Spirit of the Lord. Get my blessing right now. I can feel. 
feel the presence of the Lord and I'm gonna get my blessing right now I can feel the presence of the Lord and I'm gonna get my blessing right now I can feel the presence of the Lord and I'm gonna get my blessing right now I can feel the presence of the Lord and I'm gonna get my Right now, I can feel the presence of the Lord, and I'm gonna get. I can feel it. I can feel it. The presence of the Lord, and I'm gonna get. Oh yeah, I can feel the presence of the Lord, and I'm gonna get. Right now, I can feel the presence of the Lord, and I'm gonna get. Right now I can feel the presence of the Lord And I'm gonna get my blessing Right now I can feel the presence of the Lord And I'm gonna get my blessing Right now I can feel the presence of the Lord And I'm gonna get my blessing Right now I can feel the presence of the Lord I'm gonna get my blessing right now. I can feel the presence of the Lord. And I'm gonna get my blessing right now. The Spirit of the Lord is here. The Spirit of the Lord is here. Oh, I feel it in the atmosphere. Oh, of the Lord. The power of the Lord, the power of the Lord is here. Power of the Lord, power of the Lord is here. I feel it in the atmosphere. The power of the Lord is here. I feel it in the atmosphere. Oh, the power of the Lord is here. Come on, let's worship the Lord. Hallelujah. There's something about the name Jesus. There's something about the name Jesus. It is the sweetest name. I know something, something about the name Jesus. Something about the name. It is the sweetest, hey, the sweetest I know. Oh, how I love, oh, how I love the name Jesus. That's it, that's it. Come on, oh, how I love the name Jesus. It is, it is, it is the sweetest name. I know, 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 Something, something about the name Jesus. Oh, it is the sweetest name. I know, oh, how I love, oh, how I love the name Jesus. Oh, how I love the name. Oh, how I love the name Jesus. It is the sweetest, it is the sweetest name. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, it is the sweetest day. I know, I know, I know. 
is the sweetest name. It is the sweetest. It is the sweetest. It is the sweetest name. I know. Hallelujah. Somebody lift your hands and say, Oh, how I love the name Jesus. Oh, how I love the name Jesus. I said, Oh, how I love the name Jesus. Anybody want to join and sing? Oh, how I love the name Jesus. One more time. Oh, how. Oh, how I love the name Jesus. It is the sweetest name. And in this atmosphere, I feel we should worship the Lord a little Oh, how I love the name Jesus. Oh, how I love the name Jesus. It is the sweetest name. It is the sweetest name. I know. more to hear from God right now. Somebody want to worship. We have, we have declared that he is here. We have already declared that he is here. And when Jesus comes, the tempest power is broken. I say when Jesus comes, all tears are wiped away. Yes, 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 yes. I don't know, but Jesus is here. Oh God. And in this Holy Ghost filled atmosphere, our pastor, Pastor Leroy Dawson, and the Holy Ghost is coming. Let's welcome him by worship as we stand to our feet right now. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, Hallelujah. Glory, glory, Jesus. Glory, 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 glory. Jesus. Oh, we love you, Lord. We Jesus. love you. We love you. We love you. We bless your name, Jesus. We bless your name, Jesus. What a great Sunday morning service of thanksgiving and blessing. What an anointing we are receiving already. Hallelujah, the presence of the Lord is here. Oh God, I can feel it in the atmosphere. So Hallelujah. So somebody said, do it again, Lord. John, do it again, Lord. Sunday morning at Life Tabernacle. At the heart of the city. With the city on its heart as we give God thanks for his unspeakable gift. You are so kind in the house, would you be seated? Thank you very kindly. I want to give God honor and praise for his power and his mind. And I want to thank God for the faithfulness of his people. And those of you who are in the house with us this morning, we are so very delighted that you could have made it because there is an injunction by the prime minister and we are aiming by the grace of god to obey the instructions for our own health but also we want to be an example to the believers and to the unbelievers and so we thank you, saints of God, for your faithfulness. Our cyberspace friends, we want to thank you. And the saints who are at home obeying the command to be under a no movement lockdown until Wednesday of this week and then Sunday to Wednesday of next week. I move on to the next Sunday, the 5th of September 
for our own good, it is said. So we obey. I want to, before I bring the word, recognizing the need to pray for several of our saints of God who have been beset by grief and pain. And I'm glad that the Holy Spirit reminds us that he's here and he will not leave us comfortless but he's here here is the way walk through the valley of the shadow of day of death david said i will fear no evil for thou art with me so i'd like to mention the names of those who we are familiar with the Richards family and the Beckford's family sometimes we are tempted to feel like after a ceremony of thanksgiving and an attempt to bring closure by going to a, a cemetery that that's it sometimes that's when the trouble just began but the Lord is here. So while we remember Sister Sabrina Sterling, we remember Sister Thorpe, we remember all those who are grieving, we want to add to this list. Sister Carol McKenzie, who lost her brother, one of her brother here in Jamaica, and another brother in Connecticut, New York. And she's grappling with these as we begin to work out the, 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 the details uh, on the, particularly in this pandemic environment. It's been a particular challenge for Sister Lawrence and Sister Mackenzie to find a, an appropriate date when you know the restrictions are now even tightened further to only 15 for 30 minutes in a burial spot so everything is happening but we know that we serve a great god and because he's here he will work things out so we are not alone somebody touch well you can't touch but turn to a neighbor and tell them you are not alone cyber space you are not alone the everlasting god is our refuge and underneath are his everlasting arms. Just by way of announcements, our Juna Church exercise will take place this evening at 3 p.m. And we want to urge all those who are so concerned and want to share with our Juna Church. They'll be delighted to have you share with them. The idea is... 558-416-2752 and the password is 40-32-62 they would be delighted at 3 p.m. immediately after this service today and we want to give God thanks as we move on throughout the week although it's a lockdown week it ends on Wednesday so we continue our fasting and prayer all day Wednesday and giving God thanks and don't we have a lot to pray about and to fast about and then we come into our word explosion which is a weekly Bible study to enrich the soul and that will be at 3 in the sanctuary and then on YouTube at 7 so we are expecting some of the saints of God who are called to come with us so if you are not called then you join us at 7 in cyberspace and we share the word together praise the lord jesus and when we get to friday we join the youth department at 7 30 for a powerful youth service at 7 30 on friday and we give god thanks excuse me and we come back on sunday morning for another powerful time in the lord and we have the letters that will be printed for those who will need permission to help us to record on Sunday. So on Wednesday, you're here today, 
you can collect your permission slip so that the police will not stop you or do anything adverse to you because you have been permitted by the authorities to help us to have this service today. So we want to give God thanks for his unspeakable gift. Thank you for your patience. We're praying that all is well where you at. Praying for Sister Foster and company that all is well where they at. But we're in the house of God and the presence of the Lord is with us. Praise the Lord Jesus. I invite you just for 30, maybe a minute or so to read a popular portion of the word of God. But although it's popular, it has an uncanny message for us this morning. Praise the Lord Jesus, and we don't have to. Some of us could quote, but we're going to stand and read. And if you can quote it, quote it. And if you can't, then we just go together. Psalm 24, verse 3 to 7. Psalm 24, verse 3 to 7. Together. Who shall ascend in the, into the hills of the Lord? Or who shall stand in his holy place? He that hath clean hands... And a pure heart, who hath not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully. He shall receive the blessing from the Lord, and righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is the generation of them that seek him, that seek thy face, O Jacob. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. And be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Thank God we serve a great God who is sovereign and he's Lord and he's not waiting for your invitation all the time. He is going to come in. Ah, bless the Lord Jesus. You may be seated. Thank you. Father, we thank you. Bless your name. We need your anointing. We need your power. And we ask you to speak to your people. However long, however brief, everything from you is critically important to our survival. Thank you. In Jesus' name. So this psalm, Psalm 24, speaks very powerfully. Who? shall ascend into the hill of the Lord, or who shall stand in his holy place. So it was written in conversational tone with questions followed by answers. It was written in a conversation, so you recognize that Persons were asking questions and receiving answers. Thank you, Bro Richards. You're, you're with me. It was a back and forth thing. There was a to and froing, and persons were in conversation as we are just now. And in verse 3, David asked two very important questions Who shall ascend into the hills of the Lord, or who shall stand in his holy place? I want to remind you this morning in my brief address I want to share with you the very powerful injunction from the word of God seek his face seek his face whatever you do seek his face ask the savior to help you comfort strengthen and keep you he is willing to aid you he will carry you through there are many persons sometimes who want what you have but they don't necessarily want your person sometimes we want the benefit of somebody's company or the benefit of their signature the benefit of anything they can give to us but as far as they are concerned we are not too concerned about that but David asked these very two critical questions who shall ascend who shall go up 
and I'd like to concentrate on that word ascend because it speaks of moving from one level to another. It's climbing, we're climbing. Moving, we're moving. So when the presence of the Lord is here with us, there is an ascension. There is a climbing that needs to take place. We're not going to be remaining in a low place. Uh, but when we have the presence of God, uh, there is a lifting up. There is a taking us up out of the dunghill uh, and bringing us into a high place. Glory to God. So I'd like to suggest and declare that we have access to the Almighty God according who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord or who shall stand in his holy place. We have access. Somebody say access. We have access to who? The Almighty God. Nowhere. Not some presidents of some country, but the creator of the ends of the earth. The one who rides upon the circle of the earth. The all important one that cannot be mistaken. Hallelujah. We are mere mortals who have been given an open invitation. By the immortal and invisible God to come boldly before his throne. What an invitation. Uh, who shall ascend? The invitation has been given. Who shall ascend? He that hath clean hands and he that hath. There are some requirements to ascend. Am I speaking here? I tell you I won't be long, but I believe that what God is leaving with us is a deposit in our spirit, a deposit in our souls to make sure that we can build on this and this thing will build us. Ah, I'm getting old, but good Lord Jesus, there's the power of God. Brother Palmer, I get excited when you preach, but you know what? I'd like to just give the word of God this morning as God begins to move in your heart and in your spirit. Sister Richard, this word is for you. I don't care how low trouble wants to take you. I don't care how much your depression wants to come. I want to know when the presence of the Lord comes, it's going to lift you. It's going to take you to a higher level. It's going to break the drought. It's going to bring the things that hold you back. Let me tell you, God is going to break some chains. God is going to deliver somebody again and again. That's why Isaiah 1 verse 18 declares, Come now. Let's reason together, saith the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, <laughs> they shall be as white as snow. Though they shall be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. What an invitation. What an invitation. Who shall ascend into the hills of the Lord? We must seek the face of God. We should not be content to get his blessings, but we must seek his person. We must look for him. There must be something in our spirit. There must be a hunger in our hearts for God. He that hungereth and thirsteth after righteousness shall. So there's an urgency that's attached to this invite. There's an urgency that's attached and it says, now, notice that? Come on with me, church. Isaiah said, come yesterday. Come slowly. Come when you're ready. Come when you feel like. No, come now. There's an urgency. Somebody need to come before God now. There's an open invitation. To 
to the Almighty, to the Son of God. Hello, somebody. We have an invitation to urgently come before the presence of God because we are talking. You know what's the purpose for this urgency, Brother Palmer? The subject matter is critical. Are you with me, Sister White? The subject matter is not a casual greeting, good morning, God. I, I, I'm so happy for you. You are my God and I worship you. Oh yes, all of that is good. But sometimes the conversation has to get deeper because we seek his face. We are not just wanting blessings. We are not just wanting anointing and they are indispensable to our survival. But there's something about his person that is critical. There's something about who he is to us that's really, really powerful and critical. So the subject matter being discussed is saying, come now, let's reason together, says the Lord. Though you're, so we are talking about, what's the subject matter? Sin. So when we are dealing with sin, we can't afford to drag our feet and delay but the Bible said, all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. We all make mistakes and sometimes we fall into ditches that we can't get out of. And sometimes I hear the ad said, I've fallen and I can't get up. There's a message to you this morning. There's a message to us today. God is saying, come now. I don't care what the doctors say. I don't care what your conscience is saying to you. I don't care what your heart is saying to you. I don't care what your knowledge is saying to you. The Lord says, come now. Let us reason together. Though your sins be as scarlet. Cannot be hidden. Signal red. It's bright. It's in your face. There shouldn't be any delay. When we sin, we want to repent right away and get forgiveness right away because when we get back to restoration or to be restored to a right relationship with God, it is critical that we seek his face. Am I talking to anybody? I feel the Holy Ghost is giving an injunction to the church. Oh, I wish in the name of Jesus that time would have been a little different, Sister White. That we could call an early morning prayer meeting. An all day kind of ball out situation. That we said nobody go home today. Push back the food a little longer. Let us seek the face of God. There's something in this kind of world that we are living in. Where it seems like everything is crashing down. Every time you listen to the news is an another new low we are going and because we have sinned against God calamity after calamity situations after situations are facing us and the devil seems to be doing a dance but I kind of have a feeling when we get into the presence of the Lord oh the dancing in hell stops and heaven is saying I want to give you a remedy We want to get back to a right relationship with God right away. That's why there shouldn't be any delay when we seek God. When we are dealing with a sin question, we want to bounce back by washing and cleansing. Can I say it again? We have to be bouncing back by washing and cleansing that we can get into the presence of the Lord. Who shall ascend in the hill of the Lord? Answer, he that hath clean hands and a pure heart. What's the state of your hands? What's the state of your heart? Now the Bible said that the heart is deceitful and is desperately wicked. This 
human heart that we have can make us feel comfortable when we are to be uncomfortable. It makes us feel like we have achieved when we have lost. It makes us feel safe when we are in danger. Oh God Almighty. So there needs to be a bouncing back. There needs to be a washing. There needs to be a cleansing. And that's the only way we are going to bounce back. That's the only way. That's why we hear David said, create in me. I'm bouncing back right here. A clean heart. Give me, Lord, a right. Take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Cast me not away from thy presence. Restore unto me. That's why we're going to seek his face and need your person. If you don't speak to us today, if we don't hear from you this morning, what we're going to do? What will we do? Oh, we need a voice of God. Oh, we need a hand of God. Oh, we need a face of God. And so Hebrews chapter 4, verse 16, speaks loudly and soberly to us. It says, let us therefore come boldly before the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. Seek a friend before you need don't wait until it gets too bad oh god almighty am i speaking to myself yes i will speak to myself but i'm indeed i'm speaking to others this morning you don't have a wound in your feet in your leg in your hand and you sit back and nurse it until it fester and become gangrene so rich as you know that if you you stand a better chance that if you step on a rusty nail and it runs through the bottom of your foot and it's rusty you know you could have some serious medical thing to deal with all right some people are telling me now some doctors across the way they're they're not licensed but they're telling me that you have locked jaw all right doc i hear you praise the Lord. there's another name for it you have tetanus all right there's some doctors in the house here all right, we read these are the online doctors. Praise the Lord Jesus, but they are effective. Praise the Lord. <laughs> and they are helpful. Praise God. But you know, you don't wait when particularly you don't have the kind of remedy, the, the things that are authorized. You grow up in the country, they tell you to make sure you get a stone and start to beat the spot right away and let the blood come out. And if you have somebody that loves you dearly, they buy, let the they come in and bite the area and suck some blood out. Because that, that thing that, that is going to lodge and deposit inside of you, that's what's going to cause the, the thing to fester. And then the festering begin to swell and gangrene set in. You might lose the limb, you might lose the foot. So when sin is in the body, you can't just sit back and think that all is well. It's time to seek the Lord. Seek ye the Lord while he is near. Call ye upon him. Let the wicked forsake his ways and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him do what? Let him do what? Return with urgency. Praise the Lord Jesus. It's very vital that we give ear unto Almighty God. It's very vital that we seek his face. There was no set time or season attached to the invitation. Whenever we need help, seek the Lord. Whenever you need him, call upon him. If it's midnight, call upon him. Call him in the morning. Call him at midday. Call him in the noon time. Call him in the evening. Call him at midnight. Seek his face. 
Whenever you need help, whenever you have a need, we can go to the master. He always listens. He welcomes your pleas and he won't overlook your petition. I'm standing in line, watching in love, waiting my burdens to bear. He's got time for you and a place for me too. So I go to the master. Hallelujah. I'm talking about somebody who really is urged to seek the face of God this morning. I must have the Savior with me. For I dare not walk. What a glorious thought. No wonder we are resilient. We have the Savior, the deliverer, the mighty warrior, the great in battle is with us. He's here. Seek his face while there is no time or season. There are some requirements for appearing in the presence of God. Can I say it again? We don't just run into the presence of the Lord like that. We have to prepare. And he says, come now, let's reason together. But although you have that invitation, you need to prepare your heart to be in the presence of God. Anybody's preparing right now to have the Lord ready. You get into the doctor's office, you have to be prepared. And if the doctor is going to do a good examination sometime, he's got to take off some clothes. We've got to be willing to expose ourselves and the area where we might be hurting. We have to trust that this doctor, whoever he or she is, have the particular integrity and the knowledge that when I expose myself, they are not going to spend time laughing at this body or doing some things or admiring it, but they are going to deal with me because I have a need. How many know that when you come to the Lord with your need, he's going to zero in first of all at where your needs are. As the song says, bring all your needs to the altar. Bring all your needs to the Lord. He is willing and able to aid you. Bring all your needs. So we cannot go before dignitaries of this world without the right attire and the right attitude and the right language. Or else we would not get past the guards. And there is an ascension that takes place in our spirits and in our souls. When we come into the presence of the Lord, you're ascending. You're moving up to the presence of the Lord. Oh, we sing his praises and we can feel our spirits so. Once the presence of the Lord is sheer, something about your spirits that is already lifted up. It begins to take off. And so you're saying, do, do I have any clean hands here? Lord, so wash me, Lord. Without, within. And purge with fire. Every dross. Anything that would hinder me this morning, God. Anything that would hinder me this morning, God. Let me feel your presence. Let me get that anointing in my spirit. Let me get that cleansing agents before I get closer to you. Because I want to seek your face. I want to come before this road. And I don't want to die in your presence. So Lord, every dross, every sin, whether in my thought or in my mind or actually have been carried out. I want to be pure. So wash me, Lord. I may not be talking to you, but I'm talking to myself. And if I talk to myself, then I'm really talking to you because it's not my words. I speak as the oracle of God this morning. There is a need. We cannot come into the presence of God and reap the benefits of obedience unless we fulfill or meet the requirements. 
it doesn't matter how loud we shout, how much noise we make, or how well we sing, or how much we dance, we cannot receive the blessings of the Lord until we are doing the right thing. That's why we must repent of our sins. We must turn from our evil ways. Can I get a feel by the lifting of the hands that there are persons who are saying, God, I need you in my life. I need you in my life. Yes, yes. Hands are raised all over the sanctuary. In cyberspace, I hope your hand is raised. We are not satisfied with just being in his presence. We seek ascension. We must move up. Anybody want to move deeper? As the song said, deeper in thy holy love. Or in this holy life. Till I'm lost with Christ in God. Hidden with my blessed Lord. We want ascension. We are not comfortable where we are. We are not satisfied with where we have reached so far. I want to come closer, Jesus. We want to be at the head table. We want to be numbered with the twelve. And some of us desire more further ascension. We want to be in the circle of three where Peter, James, and John dwell. Because we're not comfortable staying on the periphery. We want to ascend into the hill of the Lord. This typifies the sanctuary where he dwells. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the most. There is a place by me. There is a place by me. Oh, when you get to that depth in God, there is going to be a loosing of the world. There is going to be a loosing of the things that binds us. There is going to be this worldliness that is loose from us. All of God and none of me. The physical building and in this case and in cyberspace we want to ascend into his holy place. That is his church. That is where he dwells. Hallelujah. That's why it's called the bride of Christ. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 4 and 6 reminds us but God can I talk to somebody? Closing. But God who is rich in mercy can I say that again? That's why we seek his presence and we seek his but God who is rich in mercy for his great love wherewith he loved us even when we were dead in trespasses in sin he hath quickened us or make us alive together with Christ by grace are you saved huh? and hath raised oh there's a raise every time you hear the presence of God there's a raising up and hath verse 6 hath raised us up together and made us sit together in heaven the place oh there's a lifting up so Ephesians 2 verse 4 to 6 reminds us that we who are who have answered the call and have been baptized in Jesus name and has received the gift of the Holy Ghost this spirit with the initial evidence of speaking with other tongues we have his spirit and his spirit gives us ability to ascend to soar to be lifted up we are privileged to have a first ascension we were dead in sin but we are raised from the dead from the lowly grave and brought into his banqueting house and his banner over us his love what an ascension 
But God, who is rich in mercy for his great love, wherewith he loved us, even when we were dead in sin, hath quickened us and saved us. Like Job, we want more. We want to stand in his holy place. We want to remain there and dwell in his presence. We want to be committed, to be rooted and to be grounded. If ever a time we need to ascend and stand is now. In these uncertain times, these unprecedented times, the pandemic times, so how do we get there? How do we ascend? Let us stop and just take note very carefully as we close. David answered this question. Inspired by God, he said, He that hath clean hands and a pure heart, who hath not lifted the up his soul into vanity nor sworn deceitfully. So we have to cleanse our hands. We have to cleanse our hearts. We have to ensure that our minds remain pure. God's supreme sovereignty, his majesty, his omnipotence, his omnipresence and his omniscience requires a befitting holiness of heart and a lifestyle from everyone that is a worshiper. So there is a requirement. Cleanse your hands. This symbolizes action. So our actions are clean are not involved in any corrupt actions not taking bribery or to prevent anyone that ought to do right we're not perverting justice we're not harming anyone keep your hands clean you can't hurt your brother and come lift them before God Our hearts must be pure. Speaking to the emotions. We must keep our emotions pure. And our motives pure. Our souls are not lifted up to vanity. We do not worship any creature. Including ourselves. We do not worship any non-living material thing. Such as silver or gold or fame. We have not used our tongue as a weapon to destroy the character and person of anyone. We are people of integrity. Our word is our bond. We do not just say words. We give a story Give them something to hold. Give them something to quiet them. We just tell somebody something. Like I, I had to deal with somebody today. After he gave me his word, he called me back and said, Pastor, I know I said so and so, but you know, it's not, look, it's not looking possible that we can come. I said, you know you weren't coming. You just think you gave me something to hold, but I forgive you. Because when you were saying it, I knew you. And if I'm a, just a human being, not even worthy, don't you know that God knows when we ask? Like Jacob and David, we are climbers by choice. Climbing, ascending the ladder into the heavens itself, which connect the heavens. We are strivers by choice. We strive for perfection. We have a dream by choice. A vision by choice. 
a goal by choice. Heaven is sounding sweeter. Uh -huh. We are determined by choice to know and have a more deeper relationship with our God. We choose to maintain a right relationship with our God. So we clean our hands and we clean our hearts and our souls are only lifted up to God. Our tongue is under control by the Holy Ghost. This is the generation of them that seek him. He knows those who are truly seeking him and not his blessings. He knows those who just want to feel good, but he knows those who are desperately seeking to know him more. Oh, that I might know him. I wish I had time to preach. We've got to seek his face. We've got to seek his, somebody say it with me as I close. We've got to seek his face. What do you mean by that preacher? We have got to want him. We have got to want him more than we want things. We have got to desire him for his sake. Before we can want him about intimacy with us. We've got to want him and to seek his face before we can get things from him. We've got to love him who is greater than who we are. That's what David meant when he cried in Psalm 27 verse 8 and 9 when thou saidest Seek my face. My heart said. Thy face. O Lord. Will I seek. I want intimacy with God. I want to know you more. More. Of Jesus. And less of me. Paul. Did not rest. Until he got into the presence of God. He did not give less on the rest of his mission. Because God didn't heal him. Paul said, therefore will I glory in my weaknesses. For when I'm weak, then am I strong in the... Even in your weakness you can pursue God. If we lose a loved one. We can still want him. This is the irony. That with God. Hallelujah. With God. Once we love him. Because of who he is. Automatically. We will get things from him. When we need it. We shall receive. The blessing from the Lord. And righteousness. From the God of our salvation. God Almighty is opening his doors and saying, Seek me. Come now. Let's reason together. Would you turn to the Lord and seek him with all your heart? You're all that matters. You're all that matters. All that matters is knowing him. He will hear the cry of a sinner like he did with that Gentile Syrophoenician woman. And he answers. It's faith at work. When you seek God because you really need him. He'll do things that he should wait down the line. But because you seek him with desperation. And a clean hand and a pure heart. He will bring things out of time and eternity. And put it at your feet. Can we stand? Can we stand? Somebody need the Lord this morning. Can you ascend into the hill of the Lord? Can you stand? In his holy place. Some people have gotten into his presence.
that can't stand because the hands are not clean and the heart is not clean. I want us to have a clean heart. Give me a clean heart that I may serve you. Lord, fix my heart so that I may happens but now it's time to clean your hands and clean your heart as Brother Palmer comes I believe the Holy Ghost is inviting us the altars are open to anyone who shall ascend into the hills of the Lord come now let us reason together saith the Lord this morning Let's give our hearts, our souls, and our spirits to this great God who loves you. Hallelujah. Queen of heart, oh, yes. so that I may serve you. Lord, faith my heart Hallelujah. so that I may be used of thee You may 
may think you are. However low you may believe you are. It's this world. He can reach you. He can reach you. He can wash you. He can cleanse you. Oh, the blood that gives me strength from death. Never lose its pride. Oh, I feel we should sing it one more time. Oh, for oh, it reaches to the highest, the highest mountain. Oh, Lord, and it flows to the Lord. you are right now who shall ascend into the hills of the Lord the blood is here to wash you to bring you out of your low place to bring you out of your depression the blood will never never lose its power and we are happy that you were able to join us hallelujah in the presence of the Lord today you know God is here and we want to leave with that message wherever you go remember god is here the bible said he is a present help in times of trouble he is a very present help i don't care what you're going through the help is here whatever the devil whispers in your ears this week let the devil hear you saying god is here things are going upside down but guess what god is here my children is still giving trouble but god is here lord god i still feel sick but god is here jesus is still riding on the ship Jesus is still riding in the ship. And it's time for us to wake him. He said, Jesus, it's me again. We want to thank you for sharing with us. Praise God. And we are located at 76 B Winward Road, Kingston 2. And our email address is livetabernacle6176 at gmail.com. And our telephone number is 876-486-5112. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. We thank you. And we're going to ask those who are in the congregation to lift their hands as we say our mission statement. We have a godly commitment to render our services in the pursuit of achievable goals under the divine leadership of our Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you. Remember, he is here. Amen. Brother Clement Williams, just one minute, please.